So a large portion of my audience are college students or soon to be college students. Also, just generally people interested in computer science, computer science majors, computer science topics, programming, tech in general, stuff like that. So I thought it could be sort of fun to go through my favorite computer science classes that I took in college in case you're in college and you want to take similar classes or see if your program has similar classes to what I'm going to mention. So I went to UCSD and my degree was in math and computer science. So pretty much all of the classes I'm going to talk about, except one, are going to be at UCSD. But first, you may be asking yourself, damn, Michael, where'd you get that really cool shirt that says data in Japanese? Well, lately I've been designing some minimalist programmer merch that doesn't look super cringy. So if you want to check that out, you can check out the link in the description below or just go to nullref.co. I know, pretty cool name. Don't feel pressured to buy anything. I just like designing some shirts now and again, and I didn't feel like there was a ton of shirts out there that were more like techie or computer science focused that didn't look like super cringy or weird. And I really like that minimalist aesthetic of just sort of like white on black. So if that sounds like something interesting to you or something you might like, definitely check it out in the description below. So the first class I'm gonna talk about is called Computer Organization and Systems Programming. So I think I took this during my sophomore year in college and it's primarily focused on utilizing ARM assembly and C. And I know, again, what you're thinking, Michael, C is terrible. And I don't disagree with you there, but ARM assembly is really, really interesting. Something about seeing how the code actually operates and writing like really rudimentary assembly programs, something about that is just like really satisfying. For those not familiar, writing assembly code is basically like manipulating registers on a given processor. So you can get really deep into the nitty gritty and since it's such like a low level language, all of the programming assignments in that class could never be like intensely complex. Like they never expected you to create like some super complex program because it was supposed to be written an assembly and since you usually only had like a week or two you couldn't have like a super complex program so the programming assignments were always i felt a little bit easier than when i had it in c plus plus where you had to do like a ton of different stuff in two weeks also i think the professor i had at ucsd just made the whole thing like way more interesting he seemed like a really cool guy and he honestly just made all of the assembly stuff we were learning feel a lot more tangible and just more interesting than other topics. So I specifically remember one of my most favorite homework assignments pretty much throughout college was a fake hacking scenario in this class where we were basically tasked to almost like change our grade in this fake gradebook object. I can't remember if it was in C or assembly or both, but basically it was like, you had to overflow a certain parameter, and depending on how much you overflowed it, you know, there wasn't a certain protection level, and it, it would like shift your grade a little bit, and then you had to calculate how much you needed to actually shift it to get an A, and honestly, it was just like a really cool assignment that was like way different from any other programming assignment, which I think made it just way more interesting. So overall, it was just a really cool and interesting class and honestly, less stressful. My next favorite class was Advanced Data Structures, which I think I took in either sophomore or junior year. I don't totally remember. So as opposed to basic data structures, which I absolutely hated, this class was way better. So I'm not opposed to a class like feeling hard or being difficult, but I think it needs to be a good balance where it's not like too hard, where you're just getting frustrated, you're getting depressed, and I don't think it should be too easy where you kind of just don't need to pay attention and you're not learning anything. But I think this advanced data structures class literally hit that balance so perfectly. I even emailed the professor like towards the end of the class asking if I could be a tutor for the class because I just felt like so rewarding after taking that class. It, I felt like I learned so much and I actually felt confident in my coding ability after taking that class. The professor was also amazing, but she also said the applications for the tutor positions had already closed, so I didn't get to be a tutor for that class, but 
it was still amazing. So as the name implies, you go over more advanced data structures like unbalanced trees, hash tables, grass, priority queues, as well as like say memory management. And also all of our programming assignments were in C++. And also I mentioned this, but the professor was absolutely fantastic. And I've honestly noticed that that makes a huge difference in a class regardless of the subject, but especially in really, really difficult subjects. She was able to like break down really hard computer science fundamentals to easily digestible pieces of information. And I honestly think that class was one of the classes where I honestly learned the most about like actual computer science. I also think the programming assignments in that class were probably the most fair assignments I had throughout college, where they were just difficult enough to where you actually had to, you know, sit down, you had to think about it, but it wasn't like impossible. Like it didn't seem impossible. You just knew there was a way to work this. You just had to kind of massage the problem a little bit. And then finally, when you solved it, and then when you coded it, you tested it, you felt this like immense sense of accomplishment. And it wasn't too easy where you could just kind of just like do it in an hour and it was done. It was like at that like perfect difficulty level. So I really, really liked this class because it made me feel actually confident in coding in C++ after taking it. Like actually after taking this class, whereas compared to previous classes where I had like a little bit of imposter syndrome, sometimes I didn't really know what I was doing. After this advanced data structures class, I felt like, okay, I have a pretty good handle on C++. And this was really awesome because during this time I was taking this class, I was also applying to software engineering internships. So it was great to both practice coding in C++ for all of my programming assignments. And then I would use kind of what I learned in those classes or in this specific class in those technical interviews or those coding assignments. Now in my senior year, I studied abroad in Scotland at the University of Edinburgh, which I mentioned before, highly suggest studying abroad if you get the chance. And this was the one class that I actually didn't take at UCSD. It was at the University of Edinburgh in their informatics department, which I think is basically just their computer science department. And the class was called Extreme computing. Pretty intense. So the whole class is really focused on the challenges that come with computing large data volumes, generally just big data, as well as distributed computing. And this class was honestly so different from any class I took at UCSD because basically almost every lecture or every other lecture, there was a guest lecturer that would come in from tech companies. So we had uh, people from Microsoft, from Amazon, from Google, from some other tech companies that would come in and basically tell us how they're using the technologies we were learning about in actual industry. And it was really cool to see everything we were learning was actually like an industry tool being used rather than some, you know, abstract theory that's not really used. It was, you know, really interesting in that sense. So a lot of the technologies we focused on were like Apache Spark, Hadoop, Apache Pig, MapReduce, and the grading scheme was also like really crazy. So basically our, almost our entire grade was split between our programming assignment and our final exam. Like that was almost it. And it was just literally a single programming assignment. And the programming assignment basically involved manipulating the IMDB data set to get certain values based on some conditions. So it would be like, okay, return the all the movies that are each genre between these years with the highest rating. So a bunch of different conditions and you're expected to like return a list. So in normal computing, you'd think that'd be pretty easy. You could just do some loops, but with such a massive data set like the IMDB data set, we actually had to use MapReduce and we used the university's uh, computing clusters to uh, submit different jobs. And honestly, it was really, really cool. Honestly, in the beginning, I was extremely confused. I had no experience with distributed computing before that, and I had no idea what was going on, but fortunately I had a friend kind of describe it to me a little simpler. But this extreme computing class actually felt like super tangible because, you know, in addition to what I mentioned with all the professors coming in and saying, hey, we actually use Hadoop. We actually use Apache Spark for distributed computing. We do, we actually use these technologies. It Like the programming assignment actually made me understand, okay, well, this is actually how you go about doing this. And it honestly felt like something I would use in industry, whether that's in a software engineering internship or just a full-time position. And honestly, it gave me just some great foundational knowledge in large-scale distributed computing and 
honestly, it gave me like a really big interest in distributed computing as that's one of my most like interested fields or one of my most favorite fields that I find interesting in computer science. And honestly, I thought the final was pretty hard because it was so different from any exam I had taken at UCSD because in the UK, final exams are generally kind of different. I feel like final exams, at least at UCSD, were way more structured. You could you could study very specific information and do really well. With this one, I kind of didn't know what was going to be on it because all we had was the programming assignment in the final exam, as opposed to like having two midterms, programming assignments every week or two, and then a final exam. This just felt like I'm like, am I actually prepared for this? Also during my senior year, after I got back from studying abroad, I took a class called Mathematical Softwares. Now this class wasn't in the computer science department at UCSD, it was actually in the math department but it was a very programming focused math class, so I'm gonna include it. So the class mostly focused on Python, MATLAB, and a little bit of R to solve mathematical problems, and ultimately just data science situations. And honestly, I found this extremely useful to sort of just introduce me to the more mathematical side of the applications of Python. Also, the final project for this class, I got to utilize a machine learning with the, uh, I think it was the Titanic data set to draw some interesting conclusions on survival rates, which was honestly just really cool. And ultimately, this class just seemed like really useful and really tangible, similar to the extreme computing class that I mentioned, that it feels like something I would actually use in a future position, whether that's software engineering or a data science position. Lastly, during my final quarter, during my senior year at UCSD, I took web application performance and maintenance, which focused heavily on web technologies and just how to make sure they perform well and efficiently. Again, I learned like a ton of tangible tools and knowledge, and I even made a video about it going through some of the strategies I learned, where I basically try to, you know, kind of fix UCSD's website. The professor was also great, and the projects just felt really, really tangible. I keep saying the word tangible, but sometimes, you know, you'll take computer science or math classes that are just very theoretical, and you're like, well, how does this actually, like, apply to a software engineering position? And truth be told, it might not actually apply unless you're doing, like, actual research. In this class, we didn't even use any like frameworks. It was just the foundations, you know, HTML and CSS. And ultimately the real selling point was, listen, if you can have your site load fast and efficiently and it looks nice, then, you know, users aren't going to bounce. They're not gonna leave the website before it loads. They're gonna spend longer on the site and there's a greater percentage chance that they actually, you know, purchase something or sign up for something. This class was fully remote, but it was honestly just really, really helpful. So those were five of my favorite computer science classes in college. If your university has something similar to the classes I mentioned, I highly suggest just reading into the course description if any of that sounds interesting to you. But also as a side note, professors can make a huge difference in whether you like a specific class or not. So pretty much every class I listed here had an absolutely fantastic professor that was able to, you know, break down complex topics into, you know, digestible parts that kind of made sense and weren't, weren't like too overwhelming. So I highly suggest before enrolling in a class, checking out Rate My Professor if your you know professors for your university are on there as well as seeing if your university has any other sort of rating system so for example UCSD has the CAPE system where you can basically go in and type in you know any specific professor for any given class and you can see the, the, what the past students, what they expected to get as a grade, and then what they actually got. So you can sort of see if there's any discrepancies where maybe, you know, all these people thought they were going to do really well and they actually did, you know, way worse. Or all of these people thought they were going to do bad, but they ended up, you know, doing better. And that could be an indication of a curve or something. So I highly suggest looking into that. But sometimes all of the good classes fill up and, you know, you just kind of got to suck it up. Can't win them all. But I hope you found this video useful and maybe slightly entertaining. And again, if you want some minimalist programmer merch, check out nullref.co. Yes, it is an abbreviation of null reference, you know, programmer, little programmer insider joke. Don't feel pressured though. I just like designing some stuff in my free time. But if that sounds interesting, if you see some cool stuff on there, definitely check it out. My name is Michael. We do bad British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self would 
Thank you, deity. Check out one of my future selves. Check out one of my future. What the? Check out one of my future videos, and my future self would also thank you, deity. My name is Michael. We make computer science, college advice, career advice, tech videos. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing to the Jan channel. Channel subscribing to the channel like this video if you did indeed like it to help your boy out hopefully i'll see you in another one bye bye